local rapper will spend six years in prison for his role in a drug trafficking ring. Police arrested Wayne Frisbee, known as Mac Wayne of Marysville, in 2020. He was one of 11 people charged in connection to the drug operation. Police say the ring distributed heroin, meth, and fentanyl pills all over western Washington. Investigators say they recorded phone calls of Frisbee making drug deals, and Frisbee was featured in the Amazon Prime documentary Blind and Battered, the Blind Kingpin. Investigators said that they identified Frisbee as the person on the wiretap by comparing his voice to the film. I know what y'all thinking. Hey, who the fuck is the blind rapper? Who the fuck is Mac Wayne? Man, keep it G tripping, man. We don't know this dude, man. Well, look, I don't know him either. Flat out. I'm just meeting him just like probably most of y'all. But the man got an intriguing story. Very intriguing. For one, he blind. For two, he was getting to some papers. And for three, he got six years. But that ain't all. Because that that uh, video we just watched, it don't really go into detail with what this man was really about and what he got caught with. So it don't really justify or it don't really show people the injustice or, or, or how he really made out. I ain't gonna call it no injustice. Because he made up like a bitch. The man got six years for this. A legally blind rapper who was profiled in an Amazon Prime documentary was sentenced today in U.S. District Court in Seattle to six years in prison, announced U.S. Attorney Nick Brown. Wayne Frisbee, a.k.a. Mike Wayne of Shinomish County, Washington, was arrested in December 2020 for his role in a large drug trafficking ring. Investigators had numerous recorded phone calls of Frizzy making drug deals and even one discussing his efforts to help a murder suspect hide from law enforcement. U.S. Judge John C. Coffinall imposed four years of supervised release to follow prison, noting the massive size of the conspiracy and the huge quantity of drugs involved. Mr. Frisbee gained notoriety through his drug dealing and self-promotion, but his conduct was serious and put countless lives at risk said U.S. Attorney Nick Brown. Drug trafficking is a gritty, dangerous business and one that ruin lives across the state. Those who make it, their lives are disdained to spend time behind bars. According to court records filed in December, Frisbee was one of 11 people indicted in December 2020 in connection with a drug trafficking ring distributing heroin, methamphetamine, and fentanyl pills in Pierce King, Shinomish in Lewis counties. The drug ring taken down was the third in a series of wiretaps. All told, the search warrants executed in the case resulted in seizures of approximately 93 pounds of methamphetamine, 15 pounds of heroin, 35,000 suspected fentanyl pills, 24 firearms, approximately 525,000 in the bank account valued at 100,000. Seizures made prior to December 16 included more than 158 pounds of methamphetamine, 20 pounds of heroin, and more than 7,000 suspected fentanyl pills. Frisbee was heard on wire attack, ordering up pound quantities of methamphetamine and significant amounts of heroin. Other recordings have him discussing firearms. He carried or his efforts to assist a partner who shot another man in Marysville in a drug deal gone wrong. Agents were able to identify Frisbee as a person on the phone by comparing his voice to the Amazon Prime documentary, Blind and Batted, a blind kingpin. The documentary chronicles Frisbee's life, and in it, he freely discusses his work as a drug dealer and pimp. On May 6, 2022, Frisbee played the guilty to conspiracy to distribute controlled substances. I'm asking for a 96 month prison sentence, prosecutors wrote to the court. The risk of synthetic opioids like methamphetamine are well documented. According to the University of Washington Addiction, Drug, and Alcohol Institute, state drug poisonings went up by approximately 30% in 2020. Now do y'all understand why I do what I do? Now do y'all understand why I decided to do this video? Because Shorty was a major player. I'm talking about they got this man on, on phone conversations talking about murders, 500,000 cash, 100,000 this, 
24 gun. Yeah, they was getting to they was getting to in Seattle. But you know they be on the low because the population ain't what it is, you know? They got the motherfucking complexion for the protection. But I'm intrigued to know. Cause he got six years. You know how they do the face. Obviously, he's the face of this organization. See what they're doing a young thug right now. And I ain't even gonna get into that, because that's what everybody doing. You know, I like to, you know what I mean? Do my own shit. But you see what they're doing the thug. So if the face only got six years, what the fuck did everybody else get? Jimmy, Christmas. And mind you, I don't wish jail on nobody. I ain't with none of that. I done been in prison, been to jail. It's not what's happening. But I gotta highlight the truth so people can see what the fuck going on. But that's not all. That's not the only thing about him, man. Before he got locked up, as you heard in the video, they got on him, or they they started noticing who he was because he decided to do this. My name is Mac Wayne. Uh, I first met Mac Wayne when uh, he shot Mac Wayne. Times just were kind of hard, man, and I was on the run, and I was a 17-year-old boy, and I, uh, I shot myself in the head with a pistol. And I remember thinking, man, I ain't never going to be nothing. My mom ain't nothing. She ain't never going to have nothing. I ain't got nothing for family. Uh, I remember he was in there and he was getting in fights and I mean like they literally had to put him in chains and stuff. And he was the guy that was having the money man and having holes and he was you know doing this and that and you know I said wow this guy's for real you know. He seemed to prefer to have young ladies show him around. Uh, and act as his guide dogs. And his explanation for why he came up positive was something that I could not float to the drug court team. And after testing, Wayne was arrested at the scene and cocaine and black tar heroin were found in his possession. He was charged the following fall. I know I'm trying to give me a good record deal. I'm trying to uh, cash big checks. Every single thing he's talking about on that record is absolutely real. He's done it. When I woke up to my mom in the world blind, she, man, she was shooting up heroin and snorting meth and shit. I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I was selling it to her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with people, y'all. How are you going to put out a documentary about you banning in the streets while you're actively in the streets? It's like, yo, we talk about Amazon Prime. You better as well put that bitch on HBO. <laughs> you feel me? This ain't no shit that's on TV or no uh, YouTube or nothing. That's a, a major platform. How you even get that deal? What the fuck? Yo, it's a lot of it's a lot of wild shit going on with this D man. I wonder how y'all feel about this man, yo. Like, where the fuck did he even come from? How he get that? How he get that motherfucking contract, man? With Amazon, man. How much they pay that boy for that? The tell on itself. And what's up with the jail time? Is y'all feeling the six years? How many niggas you know call six years for shit like that? Man, let me know in the comments, man. Keep it G blog, man. Make sure to subscribe to the support the move, man. Gone, man. Hey, Baltimore. Baltimore, bitch, I'm rapping Baltimore. Young street niggas, don't boy, I come from Baltimore. Baltimore, Baltimore, yeah, young niggas be shining on them dirt bikes, we be wildin', selling scramble out of houses. About to hit the block, you know it's trapping time. Gotta watch what I say, cause they might tap the line.